Oh yeah, I couldn't find any instruction online on how to get the new finisher rapier. So I wanted to give you some quick tips on how to get it. Uh, you can see I'm on the other side of a bridge right now. Uh, you start over here at this fast travel point in the east of the Elysian Wilds. This fast travel point is called Shrine of the Lion. From here you go up like a pathway and then at the end you can find a rune that you can interact with. Uh, and then you can spawn this very bridge right here. I can't show you that myself but you can see that someone just came over with this. I have this bug at the moment that I can't interact. Uh, with these things but we can make our way over from here to the spawn point and we don't need to interact with anything else we don't need to go anywhere at the top which would also require some further interaction because this boss that spawns and drops this rapier is actually down here so we just kind of go around the island we want to get to this point over here where you can already see the whole raid group and here you just kind of cross this little river and that gets you near where you want to be for the spawn point so this is where all of the mobs spawn at once or right after each other it's four mobs but only one of them only the first one actually drops the rapier the spawn has a six minute timer so you can set a stopwatch for five minutes 30 and you will get there pretty much every time on time uh, what i would recommend is if there are as many people as here or even more don't spam too many abilities. Now people will try to get the tag on the mob by spamming abilities, but the better idea is to just join a rain group with all the other people so everyone contributes to the tag on the mob. Uh, because what will happen is it will lag out massively, which makes it harder to effectively end up getting a tag and can also make you crash after the boss, which can make you lose the loot even if you maybe got the artifact. That's the one that drops the artifact, Montrapala. Just uh, throwing a few basics, throwing one ability in here, just enough to definitely get the tag. And then afterwards, you'll see the other mammoth spawn like under him, on top of him, whatever. Sometimes they spawn in the air. Uh, kill those real quick. Somebody is probably already skinning them as we speak. And then you will find the bags. Now, there are a few, uh, well, I wouldn't say issues with the bags, but the bags are not necessarily always easy to loot. And if you run... Oh, speaking of lag, that can kick you from the server. Oh yeah, okay, so, caught itself, but you can see, um, it can be very laggy and it can sometimes be hard to pick up the loot, sometimes the interact with the loot uh, will not work. I would recommend pressing take all on it, and if that doesn't work, press I, or whatever you have your inventory bound to. Uh, there we go, if I press I now on top of it, then I can loot it like this as well and you can drag it into your inventory. So sometimes, if the other method doesn't work, you can do that. And you want to make sure to loot all four bags. So you can see you have three here and then the last one here. Uh, just so you know for sure that you've looted the one that could contain the rape here. From what I've found so far, this will always drop four bags. I've never had an occasion where the mobs didn't drop any bags unless I didn't get a tag. So I think they are just guaranteed to drop something for you. So you get a decent amount of... Uh, other gear here as well, as you can see, some named stuff that I can upgrade as well. Uh, nothing too crazy so far, but at least there's some more that you're getting while farming this. And now we're just going to fast forward to many kills in the future, where I actually get the drop. And that prediction ended up being very much correct. It took quite a while to get this, but we finally got it. Here you can see the finisher is actually dropping from this boss. You can get it. It can be a bit of a tedious farm though. I would recommend doing this sooner rather than later, not only because the weapon is very good, but also because it looks like these mobs wouldn't be that fun to solo, considering it's a lot of mobs at once. So it's much easier when there's a large zerg clearing them with you, and you get an easy tag on them as well. If this was helpful to you, consider subscribing and clicking the bell for similar tips in the future. And if you'd like to support me further, you can do so on Patreon and get early trading and farming tips in return. Thanks to all of my patrons who already do exactly that. Thank you for watching. Duke Sloth. Out.